Well, hey there everybody, how y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking transform review because I love some freaking transformers and I don't like to this one. Everybody and their mom has reviewed this, but today we're taking a look at Studio Series 86 Dinobot Swoop. Finally got the last of the Dinobots. That is cool. So there you go. There is the box. Unfortunately, I don't have any other Dinobots out, so I won't be able to do any comparisons. But like I said, everybody's reviewed this guy, so you know what they look like with all them. And they look pretty cool. I can't wait to uh, uh, display mine together. So there you go. Got the box. It looks pretty good displayed like that. Artwork is great. Uh, you got the uh, Transformer movie right there. There you go. He is leader scale or leader class. That's awesome. So you got that there. Very nice. Looks pretty cool. I like that. Big screen inspired. Dinobot swoop, swoop, swoopity, swoop, swoop, swoop. And there you go. Nice artwork once again. And there you go. All right. Let's get this big fella out and let's uh, take a look what he's coming with. All right. All right. Can't wait. Let's go. All right. First thing first is always instructions. And I always say they are great. Great pictures. Big, easy to follow. Awesome. All right. So he gets two swords. So he comes with his own sword. Just red plastic. Nicely done. Got some skull work in there. Would have been cool if they painted it, but they didn't. And he comes with Grimlock sword because uh, Grimlock didn't come with one. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool to throw that in. That's very nice. A uh, little skull work in there. Once again, just red plastic. And he comes with his uh, rocket launchers. And, of course, he has, uh, you know, waffles. You know, why not? Uh, this is separate. Now, this gold is painted. So that's really nice. I like that. You just put that in there. You do got a little skull work in there. Uh, I think the black might be play, uh, painted as well. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, love some waffles. There you go. That is what Swoop comes with. Ah, caca, caca, boop. All right, here is Swoop, and look, he's looking kind of thicky thick. <laughs> he's kind of thick. I don't know. I don't know. He just looks thick to me for some reason. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Love the paint job. Love the head sculpt on here, man. Very nice. I love the Autobot symbol. That gold looks good. That blue eyes. I love those baby blue eyes. Very nice. You can open up the mouth, which is nice. You can open all the way up there. It looks like you put a little flame effect or something. If you have something like that, that's pretty cool. So you get a little blast effect or something. Uh, that's nice. Um, you got the wings, which are nicely detailed and painted too. I think all this silver is painted, which is really nice. You got some gray plastic, but love the Autobot symbols. Looks very nice. I like that. Nicely articulated as well. Uh, as far as the head uh, articulation, you can go up and down, all the way up. And all the way down. No side to side. Would have been cool if they couldn't figure out to put a hinge in there to you know go, to, go side to side. That would have been cool, but unfortunately they do not. So you have one hinge and one hinge right here. But if you move the hinge right here, it's going to move the feet out of the way. So and you're going to untab this right here. So you can use the hinge right here for that. Uh, this does untab a little bit right there, uh, but you can use that. But yeah, kind of, you know, it'd been cool if he could have, you know, been able to go a little higher, you know, that would have been, you know, get some dynamic poses out of that, but unfortunately you cannot. Uh, you do got some red paint right here. You got some nice sculpt work throughout. It looks really nice. Got the gold little, you know, little feetsies, little toes. That's pretty cool. So you can stand them up right here and you can look, you know, down like that. So if you want to do that, that's pretty cool. Nice little option, but you got a little feetsie. And that is about it. Now you have tons of ports, so what you can do, you can take this, you know, rocket launchers. You can put them wherever you want to, but I think they're supposed to go right here. You just tap them in right there, and you tap in right there. Now you can also take the swords. You can tap them in right here if you want to. Uh, on the instructions, they show you can tap. You just tap them right here, and uh, that's a pretty cool place to have them if you want to, you know, carry the swords. You know, it kind of looks goofy, but. You know, I think that's probably the better option right there. Or you can put them, like I said, underneath and everything. So that's pretty cool. You can put the rocket launchers right here if you want to. Like I said, where there's a hole, just uh, put something in it. Giggity. Uh, but yeah, they're very cool. So it um, looks like he's got little thrusters back there. That's very nice. Now you can take a little stand. I, this is the biggest one I have right now. I just broke one of mine. So um, you got a little port right there. And you can just tab that in there. And you can have him, you know display like that and that's pretty cool so i like that so there you go that is swoop and he's pretty cool he's just a little thicky thick but um you know who doesn't like a thick thicky thick bottom who doesn't like that so there you go there's swoopy swoop all right like at the beginning i said i don't have any of my other donobots out there stored and uh, put in storage so unfortunately i can just do some uh you know wheelie right there like he is leader scale so he is a big boy and there is a uh, magic square uh, prowl and there is toxitron from new age there is Red Alert. 
Dustbuster Jazz. And one more Jazz. We'll put in Fans Toys Jazz right there. Like I said, he is pretty big. So there you go. There's some scale for you. All right, back transformation. Here is Swoopy Swoop in his bot mode. It looks pretty good. I like it. Nice that sculpt. Love the paint on there. Love the silver. Love the baby blue eyes. Looks really good. My paint a little bit messed up on the chin. Looks like he took a shot to the chin. But yeah, giggity. Uh, so you can look down a little bit. Chin gets in the way a little bit. You can look up a little bit. That's nice. You can go all the way around. And you can do a little uh, attitude and everything. So that's really nice. Like I said, I love the gold right here. It looks very nice. Uh, that's just plastic right there with the blue. Got a bunch of gray paint. So this, uh, the wing can go like this right there. That's pretty good. Uh, no up or down, anything like that. All right, with the arms, you can go up to about right there. So yeah, more than 90 degrees. That's nice. You go all the way around and manipulate around the wing. Uh, you do got a 90 degree elbow. You got a bicep swivel, huge as gap as always. <laughs> Kelly, I wish they would have filled that in. Come on now. All right, same thing on the other side. All right, so you do got a waist swivel, so the beak does get in the way a little bit, so you can lift it up a little bit, and you can get more. So that's pretty cool. I like that. So very nice. All right, band dam all day, every day. Very nice. I like when the hips go with it. Nice ratchets, too. That's pretty cool. And so you got about right there. And for the back, too, as well. Thigh swivel. Nice little ratchet, soft ratchet for the knee. You got about right there. Then you can get a little more, too. So there, that's a nice bend. I like that. So they're very nice, so you can, that moves too, but you need to have that right there, so you can put it right there. All right, so you got toe tilt down quite a bit. Nothing really up. Uh, this does go with it, and you got a nice rocker, so very nice. Yeah, pretty pretty good on the uh, um, articulation. Just needs a butterfly and a app crunch, but other than that, pretty good. Uh, let's see, you can get the wings. Got a little, <laughs> some holliness back there, so, you know, there's always some waffles a little bit, but not terrible. And you do got some ports if you want to put a stand you have a you know option with that, and you got this big old gap, and that's just for transformation for the heel to go up in there. Nice red paint right there, gold paint that's there. So yeah, pretty cool. And you can take off the, you know, you can take off the uh, rocket launchers, and you can put them in there. You can hold him like this, and you got the two swords. He can hold both swords if you want to. But like I said, one goes to um, Grimlock. But here's his sword, and it fits just fine. And there you go. And you can also store these on the back, too. You do got ports. If you want to put the sword back there, you can put it right there. Or you can put one right there, give or take. So, like I said, if you find a hole, just put something in it. And you do got some ports right there. You can arm them up if you want to, all that good stuff. So, there you go. There is Swoopy Swoop. All right. There's Sideswipe, Gears, and Brawn. And MP44 Optimus Prime. You got Legacy Hotshot and Ironhide. And Studio Series A6 movie Optimus Prime, Siege Optimus Prime, Core Class Wheelie, and then Tits McGee Redgar. And there's some scale for you. And Crappagonics, Crappy Tool Paper, AAA Battery, Car Mix, K Bears, Kicker, and Squeaks. More scale. Well, hey there, everybody. If you made this far, as always, 
I freaking appreciate that. All right, final thoughts on Studio Series. This is the 86 movie. This is the uh, last Donald Bot. Swoop, swoopity, swoop, swoop. Um, yeah, it's a little late to the game, but you know, it's all right. I like him. Overall, he's great. Um, I think all of them together. Like I said, unfortunately, I don't have them all together, but I'm sure they look great together. I've seen lots of pictures. Um, but, yeah, I'm sure, you know, everybody's excited that, you know, they finally get Swoop and everything. A lot of people are uh, still waiting for them, too, as well. I think uh, BBTS and some other sites have keep pushing them, you know, further along. So hopefully you can find them. Um, I did see him in Target. Um, I got this one from who I got I got this one from Amazon maybe or something I forgot but I did see him at Target uh, last week so he will be you know he's eventually showing up him and Springer I think in the same uh, they're in the same uh, wave so uh, I saw Springer tonight when I went uh, but they didn't have suits so somebody got that one but um, just to be on the lookout he's at Target you know showing up right now so that's pretty cool so yeah overall uh, the alt mode looks pretty good it's kind of thicky thick you know you feel like I like that thicky thick you know stuff and everything so it's pretty cool transformation is really easy probably one of the easiest ones out of the Dinobots um, I love the accessories I love that he comes with a Grimlock sword that's awesome you give him a sword uh, he got a sword he's got the two guns uh, they actually did paint the uh, tip of it giggity uh, but yeah they painted that gold so that's fine um, paint wise, you know, there's a lot of gray plastic, but you do got some gold here and there. That's really nice. I love the beak. It's nicely painted. You got the, uh, Autobot symbol and on the back too, as well. That's nice. They painted some of the wings. That's really good. Uh, the face, my, my chin's got some, you know, I think the kid sneezed or something. It's got some goop on there or something like that. Um, but nicely done with the head sculpt. Uh, articulation is pretty good. Like I said, all you really needed is a butterfly and a app crunch and you got mostly everything. And maybe a, you know, a double elbow that would have been pretty cool, but um, the negatives, you know, the get, you know, the gaps, I hate the forearm gaps. I wish they had filled that in, you know, some of the, you know, gaps in there on him, you know, so, you know, that's about it. All right. You know, like I said, uh, materials feel good as always. I didn't think I was going to break anything like that. Uh, so overall really great. I'm glad they finished all the Dinobots. I love their, you know, my favorite Dinobot, you know, my favorite Autobot team. Um, and I'm glad I got to finish off the Dinobots and uh, they're really good. Uh, they're, you know, studio series have been doing a really good job. So yeah, overall, Highly recommend. Hopefully, you get yours pretty soon. If you ain't how you got them right now. So, if you'd like to review, hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It all helps out the channel. Uh, actually, watch my reviews. That helps out the channel a lot, too, as well. Hit me up some comments. Tell me if you thought of the review. What do you think of Swoop? Have you got yours yet? Are you waiting for them? And I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell freaking Transformers and hell freaking Dinobots, man. Finally. Man, one of my favorite episodes from season three, one of probably my favorite, one of my top five episodes, uh, maybe even top three, is Call of Primitives. You know, with, they had all the, you know, you know, primitives and stuff. You know, they had Skylink, you know, Dinobots, Crypticon, had all that stuff. It was a great, great episode. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, let's just, uh, let's uh, slice and dice a baby. Oh, hell no. I'm so tired. I don't mind kicking. I don't mind, you know, stepping on me a little bit. You know, kind of a little kinky and everything, but the swords and sw slice and dice, and I do not like that. No. Uh, me swoop. Uh, okay, I'll do what you say. Oh, yeah. See? See, that's how they get some respect right there. Boop. I just get. Oh, God. He got me. He got me. Boop. And boop. Good night, folks.